Good morning, everyone. Pastor Aaron here from the Robinson Free Methodist Church. I want to share a quick word with you, and then I'd like to lead us in prayer for Crawford County, uh, her communities, and her needs. In Psalm 32, it says, Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not account against him, and in whose spirit there was no deceit. For day and night your hand were heavy upon me, my strength was sapped like in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Today we're going to pray for people who are carrying a heavy load, for people who may have been involved in things in their past and they carry a load like, if I could put it to you this way, it's like it's a constant bleeding wound. This is not what God has for you. This is not his desire for you. And so today, specifically, as we pray for Crawford County, I want to pray for you. Um, I want I want you to know that the way to see that wound closed, the way to see that burden lifted, is to find Jesus Christ. And he is not off in the distance. The very fact that you are watching this this morning means that he has led you here to hear this, that you are valuable and loved by him, and that you don't have to do life on your own. Let's pray. Father, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus we thank you that you are our God. We thank you, Lord, that, God, we can turn our lives over to you and with you. No matter what our past has been, you are our future. No matter what we have committed, no matter what wrongs we have done, because of what you did on the cross through Jesus Christ, um, we can be made right again. And, Father, as I pray for Crawford County today, I pray for those who are carrying the heavy burdens of sin. God, there are a lot of people who are trapped in addictions. Father, there are people who are trapped uh, even in the prisons of their minds. And Father, we pray that, God, you would give freedom over these addictions, that you would give freedom over prisoners, uh, the prison of the mind. Father, I love how in your word that you said that you have come to set the captive free. And Father, I pray for freedom in both of these cases in Jesus' name. Father, I pray, Lord God, that you would open new employment in Crawford County. Lord, we know that this COVID problem has created even bigger problems with many people having to close their businesses, many people losing life incomes, Lord, uh, many businesses here in the county having to scale down their production. And Father, we pray. We pray, God, that you would do such a transforming work in the lives of these businesses that, God, they would have to hire. God, they would have to, to hire to meet uh, new quotas for all of the sales that they are able to do. Father, we know that, God, when you come down, God, you can do these things. You said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, that I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Father, hear us from heaven. Father, forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins of racism. Forgive us our sins of distrust. Forgive us our sins of slander. Forgive us our sins of selfishness. And Father, I pray for those who need a touch of mind, a touch of body. Father, I pray that you would heal them. Father, heal our government. Father, heal it from the president to the governors down to the local mayors. May we be a nation who has a strong inclination to what does God want us to do. Father, as we pray over Crawford County, God, we pray, Lord, for good weather. Lord, for the farmers to be able to complete their crop. Father, we pray, Lord, for... Um, a, a healing of COVID uh, as a nation, as a world. Father, as we pray over Crawford County, we just, as we close, we just pray for families. Father, help us not to lose the lesson of what COVID has, has made us do. 
in that it has made so many of us reinvest into our families again. Father, we pray for fathers. Uh, we pray for the role of father. Uh, God, we just pray that, that young men and women would know that influence. In Jesus' name, amen.